Hi and welcome to another UQ 3D scanning tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Leica Cyclone and how to take a scan from the P16 through to an exportable format. So first things first we want to open up Cyclone. Once we have Cyclone loaded then we want to look at opening up a database. Now Cyclone works through a system of the computer you're working on, um, then a series called databases, and then various projects. Databases can be comprised of multiple projects, so if you have multiple scans, you can sync them together. For this purpose of this exercise, we'll be creating a new database. So to do that, you want to right-click on your computer device, then select databases, and you want to add a database. So when we're starting a new database and loading a new Cyclone project in, to this basically we want to first come up with our database name, which we will go call Tutorial 2, then select OK. And we'll see there we've now got a database loaded. You can load and unload databases, which can help your computer, uh, just by selecting this arrow, which will make them visible and load them into the Cyclone navigation window. From there we want to select close and now to load in a project from the scanner we first we want to be going from file import scan station data import scan station project this will bring up our menu one of the biggest things to remember about cyclone is well, a big thing to remember about Cyclone is also you cannot store data on remote servers at this current stage. Um, so you must store it locally in your C drive or an external drive or, or various partition. We've got our data here stored. Um, this is some we captured earlier called GC Tutorial. And to load that up, we just navigate to where it is. So here it's on files, C drive, data, um, tutorial and we select OK. And with this project you'll start to see it's individual projects. If we loaded a partial project we could select one of these various scans or multiple of these scans and not load the whole set. We know we've got some error data or we've added to a project later and we want to add these new scans. Um, from there we select OK and that will bring up this menu here. Here we've got a couple of options. We can auto-find the targets that we've included in this scan. Um, I generally don't do that just because it's easier for myself to go through and label the targets manually. Um, we can auto-align the scans if we've got good target data, uh, generate scan thumbnails. There's options I generally check, uh, map colors, this just saves time later, and estimate normals. So we'll go on from there. I won't actually select OK because it takes a, t a time to run but we'll just go then cancel. The next thing we can do, if we had an existing project and we wanted to add that, we simply right click on our computer again, select databases, add a database, and navigate the database project. So these are what is called an IMP file, and this is how all your databases will be saved. I've already preloaded this database, so we won't load it again, of course. but it's simply just select the IMP file, then select open, and that will load your database through. So moving on, we will actually get to the database itself, and we should simply file our something called tutorial. And here's a project folder that we looked at before. So we can have multiple projects again loaded in, as I said, or we can just have a single one. So in this project, we have three different scans. These are loaded as station one, station two, station three. In these stations, there's something called a scan world. This basically enable this is a um, active scan and it, it covers all your major data. From here we have an other elements called control space, model space, scans and images. Images contain um, something called your multi-image, which is all the photos your scanner took. Uh, if you select down, you will see a very large number. Uh, we have 
259 photos. We can view these independent of the scan by just going right clicking and going open. Now these have not been blended. This basically, this just shows what the scans look like. So this is all the different photos. We can then blend these photos to make them look a bit smoother. It will even out a lot of the color differentiations between the photos, as you see here, the camera got much more even finish. It is useful, but it is, for the extent of this exercise, not something that we'll be looking at. The next portion is your scan data. This contains the scan data itself. This is not something you interact with personally. Um, and then your model space. Model spaces are where you will do all your editing, um, unifying, if you want to add any physical elements such as pipes or the like. You do this in this space. And your control space is not something we will cover in this tutorial, but we will cover in a later tutorial. And that just covers the scans as they talk to two other scans. So first things first, we just want to open up the basic scan world. To do this, we right click on the, the, the scan world itself, and we can go into open true space. True space is a representation of what your scanner saw itself. Um, so you're locked onto your scanner's viewpoint, and it's the easiest way to initially look at what your scanner captured and check for any glaring errors. If you had people walking through your scan, you'll see those rather quickly, um, as well as finding your targets, which we can see here, and mapping out the locations for that. If you have registered colors, you can then you can also look at the colors from the scanner as such. So this is the one we captured earlier. And we can see that. If we haven't, you will only be able to view it through this intensity view and the grayscale intensity map. To map colors, you right click your scan world and you apply multi images. This will basically apply this multi image and use it to colorize your scan. We've done that initially, so we won't do that here. So, first things first when looking at this scan and registering the scan, we're going to go and use a methodology using target-based alignment. So this is if we have a series of targets and they have registered correctly, we can then use these targets to very quickly and very easily link the scans together. So first things first, we want to find out where our various targets are and work out a numbering system. My numbering systems generally go clockwise, um, inside out, based on the first scan location. So in this one, this will be one, this one will be two, and this third one will be three. So to select the, select the targets, we, use, we want to be using our pick mode, our view mode, and our multi-pick mode. Our view mode allows us to navigate through the scan itself, um, and that is just done by uh, left clicking and moving the hand round. You can also right click and pan up, but this is not so relevant in um, true space. And you can hold your center mouse wheel down and zoom in and zoom out. Your multi pick node allows us to pick multiple targets at the same time. Now, pick mode if we want to clear all these targets, we just want to pick one element, we just use a singular pick and you notice all the other picks have disappeared. So just to do that again, I'm gonna go up and make sure we've got our scanner, because I think we've missed it a little bit there. So we've got our target. So we just use pick a single pick, for the target to clear up the other pick, the other picks, and use our hand tool, select our multi foot tool, and move around and select the remaining target. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to identify these targets so we can use them for registration. To do this, we use the Create Target menu. We use Find Black and White Target from Picks. From there, we'll see quite quickly, it's registered where our three targets are. And then we select each of these items. It will show us 
which targets it's referring to um, and it will come up in the order that which we've picked them. So now we want to add the target itself to it. So we just press the add tool and we type in the target ID. So as I explained before, to do this we go, general, I generally go clockwise and just use numerical. I'm um, slowly working my way back on the first scan. So this one will be a one, next one will be two, and the next three. And there, we've got our three targets identified and we can move on to the next scan. So this we just quickly close down true space. This will always automatically save. One of the benefits of Cyclone is it saves constantly. Um, do the same thing again, so we open up our, our scan station, we, open, we select our scan world, and we open up true space. And here, you can see again, we've got the next location in the scanner, and we've got our two targets again that we selected from the first scan, and we've got another target that we haven't seen before. So, to identify them, we first we just want to do the same process. Okay, zoom in a little. Um, select them. You don't have to be too precise. You just really just need to get it on the target itself. And cyclone will do the rest. Um, and we go find black and white targets from picks again. So this one was one. If we remember. This one was two. And this one's a new one, this is our fourth target, so we just can enable it to four. And close. Again, moving on to the next gauge. And closing that window down, opening up the next one. Opening up the scan world. And we go over to true space. And we're at our next scan location. This is inside the colonnade, um, at the doorway. So we can see our First two targets here, a third target here, and a fourth target over here. So to do this process, we want to select them in order. One, two. Three. Four. And then create target, find black and white targets from pick. One. As you can see, I only just got on the edge, but it managed to identify it anyway. Two. Three. And four. And we can close this down. We can close the true space window down. The next thing we want to look at, we want to look at registration. Registrations are how you combine your targets. Um, and combine your scans to create a new scan world that covers all your data. So from that we want to create registration. You can also right click, create registration. And this brings up a new item on our menu, um, in our project folder, which is called registration one. We can rename this by just double clicking it and we'll call this um, combined scan and call it um, targets. And we double click this to open it, we also right click go open and then we want to add our scan world into the new registration. So this you select the scan world menu. So here you've got your scan worlds located, your constraints and then your model space is associated with, with this registration. From here we want to add scan worlds. So we can go into our project folder and we can three see our three scan worlds or three scans. Um, and we just press this button to add them, the arrows, and we can also remove them using the back arrow. Just put that one back in and go OK. Next option we want to select is constraints. Auto add constraints. This will automatically find all the targets we've added. 
and basically match them. So we go like that, and that we go into our constraints list. We will see now it's matched all the different targets with the corresponding targets and the, the appropriate scans. And that has more or less registered our scan. There's a couple of quick things we want to do just to make sure we've got a, the best constraints we possibly can. We want to register that. We want your registration register. We can go to our constraints tab rather than and our sorry our cloud constraints tab we want to auto add cloud constraints. This will add any additional constraints over the overlap that might not have been covered um, in our initial scan. So we've added an extra one. Um, from there, we probably just want to optimize our constraints. We go cloud constraints, optimize cloud, cloud alignment. This will give us the best possible alignment. As you can kind of see in this graph, it's coming up very, very quickly. But you see it's just in that little tiny corner there, which shows us we've got a very good alignment. From here, we want to basically freeze the scan world to enable us to operate with the combined scans. So here we want to go to registration, create scan world, freeze registration. And that basically locks everything we've done in place. And the next thing we want to do is we want to create and open a model space. And from here, we are now different to in true space, we are now in model space. This enables us to navigate freely rather than being locked in a single location where the scanner was and move around the scan. It becomes a little bit more difficult to navigate. The trick is just to remember where this point is here and that's the point you're rotating around. So if I want to get in quite close to an element, I want to zoom just behind it and zoom in. And I can pan up and down by using my right click um, and that enables me to pan, zoom out using my mouse wheel, and orbit using my left click. You can also see here, oh, we've got our three targets that are just registered. And we want to just maybe bring it up to color from scanner. Um, no, no, because it's using this quickly. And there you go, that's a very quick registration. We can close this one down. The one thing additionally I will mention with this scan is when we look at the model spaces here, so we want to access that scan again, we need to go into the model space. So from there you go the scan world, which is the combined scan targets, it's our scan, new scan world that we've created, um, model space is model space, and we can create and open a model space view, which enables us to view our model space. Uh, one thing to notice is this is still three separate scans. So if I select, if I use my singular pick tool, I select various bits of the ground, I can select where the various scans are. So this is my first scan here. This is my scan from inside the colonnade. Um, and this is my third scan. Well, sorry, this was my first scan, that was my second, and that was my third. Um, this enables us just to see everything very quickly. If you want to combine this into a single scan, you can just close this window down. You can right click and unify model space. Just some things to note with unifying model spaces. Uh, we want to be reducing our spacings uh, just to cut out the duplicate data. So in order to reduce the spacing, we just select the target menu here, and we just want to select in five. This is point zero zero five of a meter, otherwise known as five millimeters, and that will basically select every point. We'll have a one point per five millimeters. This vastly reduces our um, number of points, which can get very very quickly um, unwieldy, and can create a lot of excess data that's not needed. From there we just press unify and that will unify. We'll just skip this for the moment. And that is essentially how you register with targets. In the next video we'll just cover another form of registration which is through the pick method and then in the video after that we'll cover the visual alignment methodology.